All right, hello everybody, Skyrim here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. Jumping right into this terror rift here. This is previously recorded footage I have, but I'm going to do some commentary over it. It involves using about, I think, three or four, probably three of the new essences, which we'll go over here in a little while. We'll go ahead and turn down the volume on this a little bit here. All right, there we go. But yeah, as you can see, we're using the shock apply headpiece. And I think I'm wearing the chest piece with the lightning orbs that circle you and the offhand that will proc more of them when you deal damage with them. So that's why I have two orbs at times running around me instead of just one. I do not have Sprite Spark on right now. I do have the Siphon offhand currently running around. So that gives me burst damage or burst movement for like a second. I'm not really a fan of that one necessarily, but trying to wean off of Sprite Spark is kind of hard to do. This does a lot more damage than Sprite Spark would have for the chest piece. So that's why I'm running this one in a Terror Rift anyway. Some mobility is nice here. My overall movement speed is pretty decent as well. It's You don't need too, too much when doing these, so that's why I ran with more damage. I am stacking up the Thunder's Applause Meteor Shower that follows me around on top of everything else, along with Rift Carver's Arcane Torrent. And again, I'll go over all the pieces at the end here but I just wanted to show how well this works and that's why you're seeing a bunch of crit numbers is the applied shock and then the lightning damage to follow up with it it works like firestorm basically and that's why you're getting a lot more crits to pop off but the difference between this one and anything else for wizard anyway is we didn't really have a way of causing that effect to be mobile and now we do with the lightning with the new essences so that's the real draw here as far as well what's to do about you know faster open world farming with this build etc that kind of thing this gives you basically mobile firestorm-esque proccing of higher damage values There are some variants I am going to try later when Battlegrounds opens up for PvP. But for now, I just wanted to show a Terror Rift run here where we did all four Spires. I don't always have them with the other uh, party members with me, so you can see the full damage of what I'm doing in an Inferno 2 Terror Rift. But here I met up with him again, of course, because we're by the Spire that we just finished. But I still go off on occasion and take things on myself. I am starting to like this build a lot. It has, um, it definitely racks up the damage pretty good. So I try to compare it with the original dungeon build that I had. I also have a slightly different version of this for dungeons as well. Not too much. Now being now this is in a Terra Rift, I still run what I call my All Spires build because I still have my doubts. I haven't tested it, but I'm not about to find out the hard way where I used to run Crystalline Shadow on PC for the shoulders and the pants to go along with that for the 100% uptime in these terror rifts but for the longest time and people say they have it, it's fixed now but i still have my doubts because <laughs> the way they fix things in this game the devs wise track record is very very bad so i'm not about to attempt it otherwise i prefer this at this point anyway i'm so more used to it plus this is much more versatile for everybody else on both pc and mobile because again still the dis disintegrate crystalline shadow shoulders 
does more damage on PC than it does on mobile. I don't think they'll ever get around to doing anything about that or fixing it. So it is what it is. But getting back around to the point here, in Terror Rifts, whenever you would activate a Spire to go in to fight the boss, the Crystalline Shadow would do zero damage. I expected Whether that's been fixed like, again, like I said or not, remains to be seen, and I honestly, at this point, no longer care. I gave up on that a long time ago. So I'm like, no, no, I'll just run with the uh, thunderous applause, meteor shower, and the stag of ill omen shoulder piece instead. Works just as well, and it works, like I said, in all spires. Um, House Slayer bounties and the oblivion pillars. So that's why I call it the all spires build. Because I have to swap those two particular essences and that skill out. Just because. And speaking of Spire, here's another one we have found. Be entering shortly. I do like to rack up as many fragments as I can before going in. And if I see that there's a bunch of uniques and elites around, I will try to get in on those. Even though the, the shards will be waiting there for me when I get done. This is very good and very quick for clearing all the mobs, the waves inside these spires as well. I'm gonna top off the health there to make sure I'm as strong as can be. That bail is always interesting with the laser beams. There we go. Continuing on. Where are we at now? They put too much words, I think, on the terror rift on the side screen there. I'd rather see how many fragments I need yet. And then the timer, like, right below. They don't need all those extra words. It takes up too much real estate space on the left-hand side there. Irritating, because then it's like, oh... What time are we at now? And when's the next fire gonna pop up? You gotta scroll down the side bar there just to see it, and it's kind of irritating. They don't need that many words. They really don't. There we go. I like seeing all the orange numbers. The uptime on the helmet with the that applies the shock is pretty good for the slow time so I could put on another main hand of course to increase the slow time or um, cool, er, reduce the slow time cooldown but on its own it still runs pretty good with the amount of beneficial effect duration that I currently have so I'm pretty much content with it I lost count. I think we're on the last spire now. But yet, as the power of the internet and the power at your fingertips, feel free to, you know, jump ahead or rewind. However you see fit, of course. You have that at your disposal when it comes to videos like this. I know sometimes people do actually like to see the gameplay, so I'm providing both. And like I said, it's on all of you, however you want to watch this and skip ahead or what have you. I will be putting the build and everything, of course, at the end here. But I wanted to give some commentary as to thought process, of course, as always, behind why I chose certain pieces and what I was able to throw together. I'm still at four of six essences. I still need the shoulders and the pants of the new essences for wizard, but 
it is what it is. For the most part, these are the best ones to pretty much play around with. The two that I'm missing is the disintegrates that follows you around just the same, which also would apply an armor break. So that would increase the damage you're dishing out even that much further. So that I definitely do want to eventually, of course, get those two pieces that I'm missing. But I'm not gonna, I'm not sweating it right now. It's, it's okay. I was a little annoyed at the outset because I really wanted to get, you know, these as fast as possible, you know, for showcasing wise and testing builds, etc. But it is what it is. Others, of course, have already kind of put that together. That's no surprise, but I am of the lower free-to-play Rezo, so I wanted to also show how it would affect my character with the same kind of stuff with what I have available. And it, do it does pretty well. It does pretty well. I like it. It's It's got its different flair and flavor to it. There's a couple of little lag hitches you can tell. Good old lag. I expected an At least the tower, the terror rift is playable. I remember when it was so bad for a lot of people where they couldn't even do anything in here at all, and it was atrocious how bad the lag and the issues were. And may still be. I don't know. I haven't asked around enough to see if there's any lag issues and whatnot for terrorists lately. And that community post that the, yeah, the, well, yeah, the community post that the new community manager put out a while back now, um, haven't really heard any news one way or the other on that lately either. I did make a couple posts on the Blizzard forum about the things that I experienced and what I had to provide with the information that I wanted to address. And a lot of the lag I noticed was from parties. For whatever reason, if it was joining across multiple devices with other players or what have you, that seemed to cause a lot of lag hitch. And I, w I tried to stress that in, as much as I could in the post that I left, but... I also left a little caveat note of, if anyone chooses to read this, because <laughs> I am not holding my breath, but, and neither of a lot of us, unfortunately. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. The fact that they post, you know, they decided to post the question at all is something to say. I'd still like to see something come out of it. Okay, that's the end of that run. So anyway, there you go. That's that. Let's get, uh, get into the video, the rest of the video here with the build that I was running while I was in there. So we got the new helmet, the crest. Slow time follows you around, as you can see, and applies the shock. Stays up for a long time, actually. The beneficial duration on it is very nice. And it is almost 100% uptime with very little effort. So... Anyway, Isolated Storm is the new chess piece as well, running with that one, which was causing the lightning ball to circle around me. Now, you might have seen more than one at times, and that's because what causes that to happen is the offhand, the new offhand. When Lightning Nova hits a shocked enemy, they have to be shocked, so you have to have that field applied to them, it unleashes another Lightning Nova. It says cannot occur more often than once every four and a half seconds. So that is kind of a little bit of a drawback, but it happens fairly frequently enough. And you get two lightning Nova charges anyway. So just kind of space them out. Get the idea. Then I was running with the stag of ill omen, like I said, during the video. For just some extra more damage. That follows you around the entire time. With thunderous applause. And then I use using Rift Carver just for additional more damage to just follow me around and, you know, spray the Arcane Torrent as I go around. Then the Siphon, again, this will give you a slight burst in speed. 
when you cast Lightning Nova. Temporarily, and there, this, no kidding, is temporarily. It's like a second burst, pretty much. And I'm just kind of trying to make up for not having Sprite Spark. So you can stack it enough times as you have a couple charges of Lightning Nova, but at the same time, it's kind of whatever. But it also does increase your Lightning Nova cooldown a little bit. Not that much, but it does help. Or if you really, really wanted to, I suppose you could put on Forensic Spark, but then you're losing out on this movement speed bursts that you get on occasion so take that as for what you will uh, and finally since I've already shown the offhand the other offhand the new main hand of the radiant splines whenever lightning nova deals a critical hit it emits charge bolt so you're just basically pouring out more damage so everything kind of synergizes pretty nice I like this setup so far like I said, I'm still missing the other two pieces, which would just add that much more damage to it. But take it for what it is for right now. I'm liking it. I wanted to show it with that Terror Rift build right there. It works rather well, like I said. Again, that being an Inferno 2 Terror Rift. So, anyway, until next time, everybody. Stay safe out there as always. Take care of yourselves as best you can. The real world on fire, one day at a time. That's all we can do. Best, do the best we can is all you can do. I completely messed all that up, but hey, you get the idea by now, I hope. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, see ya.